Hey y'all, it's TX Stamp and Sharon in freezing Texas. <laughs> oh gosh, I see that some of you have already joined me. You've been chatting. Um, let's just make sure that everything is good to go. Um, let's see here. It shows that it's still waiting. Um, there we go. Must be a bit of a delay. <laughs> uh, surprise, that's how it's been around here. So, um, okay, there we go. Okay, <clears throat> yes, Texas is frozen. The whole state, all of it. So many of you have uh, messaged me or emailed me or reached out to me and I did send out a letter or uh, an email today saying that we are fine, we are warm, we are, all of my family is safe. Um, you guys were super sweet about asking about them. And I know that a lot of you are from Texas too, so I just hope that you and your families are safe and that you have water. That's our other problem, so. Um, hello, Gloria. Yes, <clears throat> um, the water problems are, I would have never thought. Um, we, um, like in my daughter's neighborhood, the, they shut off the water main. So, you know, who would have thought that? But they're trying to, uh, you're so welcome, Athena, for your catalogs. Okay, awesome. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Denise. Yes, I am doing well. If you're on my newsletter list, you enjoyed seeing baby Baylor. He and his parents have been here since Sunday. And I am, yeah, yes, Patricia saw that picture. He's just so cute. Um, I was just amazed at how enthralled he was of me reading to him. I mean, he was watching every page and listening. He's five months old, by the way. I forgot to tell you all that. So if you're not on my newsletter list, you don't just get news, you get cute pictures of grandkids on there. Um, I'm seeing a little hiccup here. So see if I can fix that. I'm sure it's my internet. So we're gonna hope that tonight's live goes well and we don't have any interruptions. If you're new to my channel, I wanna welcome you. Um, I am live on, let's see, Thursday, February the 18th at seven o'clock p.m. If you've not already subscribed to my channel, I invite you to do that below the video. And then while you're there, ring that little bell and you'll be notified when I go live like this or I upload a video to YouTube. I was not able to have my mystery stamping last Monday. If you're on my mystery stamping crew, then keep that first clue for next Monday, February the 22nd, and we'll try it again. So there you go. Um, okay. All right, Michelle is my helper tonight. Um, give Michelle Batson a big round of applause because I could not do, like I keep looking at all the comments. I wanna read and chat with you guys. Um, after I do my presentation um, and show you this cute, cute project, then I will um, uh, look back through and see if there's anything that she needed help with answering. If you ever need to contact me, need to visit my store, want to sign up for my newsletter, you can do that all below the video. Um, I have a surprise for y'all tonight too. So um, I know Nancy, I'm sorry that we couldn't have Mystery Monday, but um, hopefully we will have it next Monday. All right, so I'm gonna slide things over just a little bit. I'm gonna flip the camera around and tonight's project, we are using the uh, mini catalog, something from the mini catalog. Um, this started in June, uh, sorry, in June. It started in January and ends in June. And I'm going to be using this fun suite right here, the ice cream corner. I absolutely love this suite. I have a large family and we have lots of birthdays. Um, I have a granddaughter's birthday coming up. I've got daughter's birthdays in March and April. So this suite right here is just too fun to play with. 
anytime Stampin' Up! offers a punch, I'm there because I love punches. And this is such a fun one, and I think you're gonna really love my project tonight. The surprise I have for you is that I have a downloadable PDF to give you the instructions so that you can print them off. If you want to do that, then after the video is over, give me just a minute to push a few buttons and you'll be able to go to my blog. Remember that link is below the video. Um, you'll be able to go to my blog and download the instructions. Tonight's project is actually coming from uh, one that I, sim I, a similar one I did at one of the Creative 8 retreats. Now, the Creative 8 retreat, if you don't know what it is, it is a virtual online stamping retreat and it's going to be March the 27th. I have the link below the video if you want to sign up for the retreat. You can live anywhere in the world and you can still attend virtually. It is held on Facebook and um, we have a lot of fun. There will be 10 plus projects that we do or 10 projects that we do, but we will give you so many other ideas. Um, it is a, a fantastic day. If you've never attended one of the Creative 8 retreats, I highly invite you to try it out. This will be our fifth one that we have done and you will have written tutorials plus video links. If you're not on Facebook, no worries. You can still enjoy all the benefits of it. Um, right after the retreat is over, we compile all the tutorials and the videos and send them out to you via email. We will have prize drawings. It's just a lot of fun. So if you have any questions, you can always contact me. So here is the project that we're working on tonight, okay? Super cute. And I will say that this one will have to be hand handed to someone because it's not going to mail very well. If you want to mail yours, no problem. Just make your banner flatter. I just wanted to have mine kind of waving. I just thought that was so cute. So even though the outside of the card is super cute, guess what? I think what's inside is even cuter. So I'm gonna open it up and ta-da, it's a little shopping bag. That's a gift card holder. Isn't that cute? Look, it matches. I ordered that special from Amazon. <laughs> I wanted it to match my project. Um, I had a black one, so when you see my blog post, you'll see the black one sticking out, but then I saw these on Amazon, and so I thought, okay, I could send this to my granddaughter for her birthday, and it will match the card. So I do have some other samples to share with you when I'm done with the live. So um, if you wanna see some other inspiration, make sure you stay tuned. Grab all my supplies. So I'm going to be using Gorgeous Grape for my ink. And I'm gonna be using these cute little pastel pearls that are also from that mini catalog that I showed you earlier. I used the scalloped ovals dies and I cut out the Purple Posy. I have not used Purple Posy in a while and it went perfect with my project. And then I cut out a smaller oval with the basic white cardstock. I have a piece of basic white. And again, don't worry about the measurements because I'm giving you that free tutorial. So, but it does measure four inches by five and a quarter. I have a piece of designer series paper um, that measures three and three quarters by five inches. Bringing in that purple posy again, this one measures four inches by five and a quarter. And then I have my card base, which is Pool Party, and it is four, uh, four, five and a half by eight and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter. I have a scrap of the cute little designer series paper, but I needed this pattern right here. And then I have another scrap because I needed this pattern right here. And I have some of the Pool Party Sheer Ribbon. Now you're gonna need a fairly long piece. This measures about 24 inches, give or take. And then I have two pieces that measure four inches and that will be the handles for my shopping bag. So 
so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in my Simply Scored tool. I love this thing. It is, it is very well loved, especially at the five and a half and four and a quarter mark. But I have a piece, um, this is also from the um, uh, Sweet Ice Cream, what is the Ice Cream Corner Designer Series paper. And this measures 11 inches by three inches. And I'm gonna be doing a lot of scoring. So like I said, don't worry about the measurements because um, you have that tutorial. So I'm going to use the stylus that came with my um, Simply Scored. Um, if you don't have that one, you could use any of them. You could use your paper trimmer for this, but since my paper was so long and this works so well, I chose to use the Simply Scored tool. All right, so my first score mark is going to be at the one half inch. It's kind of hard to hold on to. And then it's going to be at the one inch. And then I'm gonna come down here to five inches. And then I'm gonna do five and a half. I'm gonna do six. And then I'm gonna come down here to 10. And then 10 and a half. Okay. So now I'm gonna move this out of the way. Sorry about that. I kept hearing something dinging and it was my other computer. I'm gonna pull out my snips. Oh, I forgot to do one score line. Whoops, hold on. We need to turn our paper and we need to score it. And I am using the rounded end because the designer series paper is thinner than cardstock and I don't wanna use the sharper end because it, or smaller end because it might tear my paper. So I'm gonna come up here at the one half inch mark and I'm gonna come all the way down, nice and slow. Now we're done. Okay. So I have all my score lines. I'm gonna go ahead and fold for you so that you can see them on the video. I know it's a little bit hard because of the paper, but we'll see if this helps. Because I'm gonna be, do, be doing some snipping. Okay, so on my... Um, PDF that I gave you. Um, I gave you a tutorial about where to be cutting and where to add your um, tear and tape. But first we're gonna be doing our cutting. We're gonna start right here in the middle and I'm between that five inch and six inch mark. And I'm taking this out. We don't need that bulk in there. This project may work if you don't do that, but I've never done it that way. So this is how we're learning to knot. If any of you have been to the Creative 8 retreats and you saw this project before, I hope you love it. Um, we do try to keep our projects for the retreat um, kind of exclusive, like you won't see the same ones ever being shown. You may see samples, but you won't see the same demonstration. And we wait a couple of months in between. So when you sign up for the retreat, you're getting exclusive projects um, that only you get to see during the retreat. Okay, so now I'm coming down to this end and I'm doing the same thing, just taking off all this bulk. There we go. Okay, we're gonna fold this like this. So once you get the tutorial, if you need to come back and watch the replay, it will stay here on my YouTube channel. Um, this fun gift card holder is just too fun. The best, I really recommend that you use the tear and tape because I think it works best for this project. Um, we don't want the bag to fall apart when we um, put it in the mail to someone. Um, this is a very strong adhesive and it works really well. Uh, the tear and tape, of course, is from Stampin' Up and you can find that on my store as well. Um, we're just gonna add it here. Now we're going to add it only on one end. We are not putting it on both ends, okay? 
So I'm gonna take and put some here. I love that you can tear it with your fingers. And yet it's such a strong tape. Whoops, got a little crooked there. We're gonna bring that in. Now I prefer to burnish mine. I want that adhesive to really be adhered to my paper. And this just helps do that. It also helps remove the backing of that paper. And we're gonna set this aside for now. We're gonna start assembling our card. So we have our pieces back in. And while I have it open, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna add our basic white layer. And my adhesive is not cooperating. Come on. Oh, I bet it's out. Oh, that's what it is. Let me change it real quick. Okay. Oh my goodness. Why is it doing that? It's because I'm live. Do y'all see what it's doing? It's tearing my paper. Okay. I'm going to, there we go. I just needed to get it started. Only on a live, right? If this was a video, I would edit that out in a heartbeat. <laughs> oh well. Okay, I think this thing. All right, so if this happens to you, can you see what it did? I'm gonna pull this apart. Put it back on the thing. And I'm just going to, it got all messed up because it kept tearing the paper. Just gonna tighten that up a bit. And we may have to go get our liquid glue for this if it doesn't cooperate. Come on, there we go. Yeah, this is not gonna work. So we're gonna grab our liquid glue. And we're gonna add just a little bit of adhesive right there. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna add this here. I always like to hold it midair until I'm sure it's where I want it, and then I can put it down. We're gonna use some liquid glue. <laughs> I'm probably gonna run out of it too. Of course I will. And we're going to, let me grab my card. We're not putting the liquid glue on yet. I mean, we're not putting that on yet. We have our card base. And we need to add our ribbon to keep this closed. I prefer doing the ribbon so that the card doesn't fall out. So I'm gonna find my ends. And we're gonna take our card, get it in the middle. And now we're going to add this piece. Let's see, we'll just use that to hold it for me. Thanks. That's my um, adhesive, my cleaner for my stamp and scrub. Okay, there we go. Now we have that. And now we're gonna add our designer series paper. And seriously guys, I am gonna run out of glue. <laughs> Good thing I'm in the studio, I can go find some more. Oh goodness. I knew I had enough adhesive, but it just wasn't cooperating tonight. Okay, so we've got that lined up. This card is really pretty easy. I hope you all feel that way. And I hope it inspires you to make some cards like this to hold those gift cards if you send them because it's so fun. We're just adding our layers together here. I do prefer the liquid glue when I'm using the scalloped ovals, the layering ovals, so that I can make sure I have a good border all the way around. All right, we're gonna set that aside for a minute. 
And now we're gonna bring in our scraps and our punch. So cute. Watch this. Now the stamp set has an ice cream cone stamp that you could um, stamp and punch out. But the highlight of my card is really the inside, the gift card holder part. So I decided I wanted to do it this way. I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna decide what part of the ice cream do I want? How do I want it colored? And I do wanna see some of that purple posy down here, so I'm gonna go ahead and punch. Oh, and look, now I have another cute snow uh, cone, but that's okay. We know we're gonna hang on to that, right? <laughs> okay. So now we're gonna bring our card back in and I'm going to add some liquid glue to the back of my cone. If I'd have known I was using liquid glue, I would have grabbed my silicone mat, but hopefully I won't get my fingers too messy. And we're gonna put our cone down here at the bottom. I hope y'all are loving this project. I just turned it over to Michelle, and so I'm sure she's helping answer any questions, but I get so into stamping, it's hard for me to multitask. I hope you understand. <laughs> Oh, I'm seeing that Patricia says maybe my adhesive got cold. Oh my gosh, Patricia, I didn't think about that. Okay, well, we know the dimensionals will work, so I'm going to use my dimensionals, and I'm going to pop, up, pop it up. I honestly have not been in here doing a lot of stamping because my studio is kind of chilly. Let's just pull this off. And then we're gonna add our cone, our ice cream right here. Look how cute. All right, we're gonna finish it off by adding our, um, I'm just gonna grab my scissors. And at this point you could decide, do I want the darker of the purples? Do I want the lighter? I think, ooh, it's kind of cute with the pink. I'm gonna go with the lighter still. I think that's what I used on my other one. Um, you could use anything to pick these little pearls up. You could use your snips like I did. You could use your take your pick tool. Okay, so now it's time. We'll do our stamping over a happy birthday, but I do want, to, yeah, let's do the birthday first. Let's finish the outside. I have a piece of basic white. It is an inch wide, but it was a scrap that I had. So you'll want to make sure it's at least an inch wide. And I'm gonna open up my ink pad. And I'm going to pull out, let's talk about this stamp set. You know, anytime a new stamper comes to me and says, oh, there's so much to choose from. What do I pick? How do I decide? I always guide them to stamp sets that have sentiments and images because there's so many things you can do when you have the combination in one stamp set. And you know, we need cardstock, we need ink, we need other supplies. So um, it just helps. I should have grabbed this while I had it out. Um, it just helps when you can, um, you know, save money but yet get all the things you need to make some cards. All right, I like to pick up my um, photopolymer stamps with the block because I feel like it helps get them straight. And because it is photopolymer, I'm pulling in my uh, paper piercing tool, my mat. And I'm gonna ink that up. And I want to make a little banner tail on the end, so I'm not going to go, oh, I cannot see. <laughs> okay, we'll see how crooked or how straight this gets. There we go. I did pretty good. It's hard when you can't get your head right over the camera. Now I'm just going to take my, I could take my snips or I could use a punch. I'm going to go ahead and just demonstrate with the snips because not everybody has the punch, but if you have the, uh, the banner punch or the triple layer. I mean, the, um, what is that other punch that does such a good job? Oh, let me grab it. The 
this is the banner punch. And then, where's my other one? This punch does a great job of making banner tails. So we'll play with both of them. Let's see, we're gonna just snip off about that much so that we're even on both sides. And we'll just use this one on that end. I don't know if it's gonna come out the same though if I don't use the same punch. We'll see, we'll just try it. And then this one also makes a banner. Yeah, it's not gonna come out the same. I'm gonna make a little one. Let's see what it looks like. See, it's a little bit different, so we're gonna fix it. There's always a way to fix things. I am the queen of boo-boos is what I call myself, and I can help you fix anything. So there you have it. Tidy up our mess here. Pull in our card. I can't help it. I want to keep seeing what y'all are talking about. I know y'all are having fun over there. Okay, so I kind of bent my, um, and like I said, you could make it straight if you wanted to, if you didn't want to have a, that wave in it. Um, but again, I used my dimensionals to help me, and I put one on one end, and I put the other one on this end. Just remove those dimensionals, the tops. And then I kind of put one side down. I want to make sure that it's going to fit. And then I just kind of did this. And then you could take your bone folder. You could have done that. I could have done this before. And just kind of curl up those ends a little bit. See how it does? Isn't that cute? Simple things. It's the simple things that make us happy. There we go. Okay, are we ready to put our gift bag inside our holder? So let's bring this back out. And we're gonna open this up. If you have not seen this before, you're just gonna be shocked. I'm telling you, you're gonna go, she did what? Okay, I'm going to remove the adhesive from the sides, the backing from the sides. And we're gonna fold this in half, like this. Trying to get it lined up. And we're just gonna fold that in. So that end has a little bit more reinforcement because it's got double. And then we're gonna tuck this side in. And then of course, we're gonna give it all a good crease with our bone folder. You do want your bag to be flat so that it works when it, um, it's kind of a pop-up shopping bag. You want it to work when you go to um, put it inside. So we're gonna take our tape off now here. And I'm gonna take it off here, okay? Then we're gonna bring our card back over and I am holding this in the air. I am not touching it yet because that um, tear and tape is, is sticky and strong. I want to aim towards my seam. And then I'm just going to close it. And we're gonna give it a good back rub right here. Oh, I forgot to mention one thing. I normally put a little bit of adhesive to hold this ribbon, but this ribbon is so fine, it's uh, the, the stickiness of any adhesive would show through. So if you want your back to be a little bit more finished, um, you could do that. Okay, are you ready? Look how that works. Isn't that cute? Isn't that so fun? All we have to do now is add the handles. So I have my two pieces here. And even though I can tear the tape uh, with my fingers, for the ribbon, it's I'm only using little bits. 
So I'm going to add them like this. So we're adding some tear and tape to both ends. Um, I don't know. I haven't tried this with any other adhesive. Um, the Seal Plus probably would work, but we know what that's doing to me tonight, so I'm not going to play with that. Um, I'll work on that little thing after we get done. I, I didn't think I'd have to put it by the heater if that's what the problem is. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to put this here. And then we're going to grab our bone folder. We're really going to burnish that because we need it to stick to that ribbon. And I told y'all, this ribbon's so sheer. When I do that, it almost sticks to my table because it is so sheer. Okay, guys, what happened? Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's like, what happened to my other handle? Okay, so we're gonna do this. See how it's sticking? It just barely, but it does stick, go through that sheer ribbon. We're gonna do this. And then this is the fun part, trying to get it off the ribbon, but it does come off. There we go. Turn this around. Okay, we're gonna bring our card back in and I'm gonna put the, I'm kind of doing it in a little bit. Um, you, The main thing with adding the ribbon handles is you don't want, ah, and almost did. Let's move that down just a little bit. You don't want those handles to stick out of the card, okay? So that works like that. And we're gonna take the backing off of this piece. I hope y'all are loving this, cause I do. Oh, oh my gosh though, you guys wait until next Thursday night. <gasps> Oh my gosh, if you think I'm excited about this one, you wait till next Thursday night. You do not wanna miss it, I promise you. You need to set your your timers, your calendars, your, you gotta be here because it's so cute. All right, so we're kind of matching up this handle with this one. So they're about the same. I know that my hands are in the way and it's hard for y'all to see. But we just want the handles to be the same size. Okay, there we go. And then of course we can tie it. I'm breaking my number one rule about tying bows while I'm live, but here we go. Because you need to see the finished project again. And don't forget, I do have some other ones to share with you. I did cut my ribbon probably a little bit longer than 24 inches, um, cause I'd rather have it too long for a live presentation than too short. Ugh. And this ribbon is a little hard to, to do. So let me grab my scissors. Oh, I saw, I glanced over and someone said they're loving this. Now this soft ribbon is going to go, oh well, all right, let's take that back. The soft ribbon will go in my envelope very well. My banner won't, but you know, like I said, and, and it's just going to, see how it doesn't want to lay down? <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's, it's, you want to use a soft ribbon and ribbon is, is one thing that I use to decide what papers to use. Okay. All right. So with that said, let me show you another one. How about with the art gallery that y'all know is my favorite. This one, I don't think has a gift card in it. It will, but there's the bag. Okay, cute little shopping bag. Isn't it adorable? All right, here's one. This is one that I did show at the Creative 8 retreat. Um, I did not demonstrate that one. I want to say I demonstrated a Christmas one. So think of all the times you need a gift card holder. So here we have our little shopping bag again. There you go. I hope that y'all love my projects and I hope that I have inspired you to make these adorable gift card, shopping bag gift card holders. They're just fun gift card holders, don't you think? 
All right, let me get my laptop back out. And let me see what you guys are saying. <clears throat> ah, Renee says that I could make a special envelope. I could, that's a great idea. Um, oh gosh, Gail, are you kidding me? That bundle's unavailable? Oh my gosh. Um, I am hoping that it comes in soon. The only thing I can think of is the punch. Yes, it is gonna be a great Mother's Day card. Y'all guys, you guys are loving it. Ah, Mary, it was the forever greenery. You're right, you're right. Um, well, thank you, Renee. You like them even without the purse holder on the inside. There you go. And I should have left that down like that. Um, I hope that you all loved tonight's project because I loved sharing it with you. And um, Marsha, I do have power tonight. I have internet and power. So we have been having our live. If you are just now joining me, then you are welcome to um, watch the replay. When I finish the live, the, the video will stay on my YouTube channel. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I love the thumbs up. I love reading your comments. I get my coffee in the mornings and I will come and read um, all your comments and I reply to all of them too. So, um, hi Heather from Australia. Hi Bay, how are you? Thank you for the prayers. Texas needs it. We're, we're struggling here. Um, yay, Marlene's gonna be making some of these for sure. Thank you. Thank you, Marlene. We are staying safe. We are hoping that we have one more day of freezing weather and that life can get back to semi-normal. We know it'll take time for the grocery stores to stock up and um, for everything else to happen like it's supposed to be in our in our sweet state. <laughs> it's been it's been crazy. So um, yay, I'm glad that you guys are loving this. So okay, I hope that I've inspired you and don't forget you do not want to miss next Thursday night. You need to tell your friends, you need to tell all your crafty friends besides your crafty friends, you should have already been inviting them to my channel because you know we have fun on Thursday nights, right? Thank you so much, Michelle, for helping me. Um, Michelle says, everyone give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> um, Michelle's name is a different color. It might be highlighted on your um, device or it may just be in blue um, because she is my moderator. I cannot multitask. This video would last hours if I was trying to read your comments and make the project and you know it would be a hot mess. I would make a mistake. So we don't want to do that. I value your time and I appreciate you spending some time with us this cold evening if it's cold where you are because most of the country is cold. So all right guys, thank you so much. I will be back next Thursday night with that fabulous project and I will be live again on Monday for mystery stamping. So um, have a safe week. I hope everybody is is doing okay and um, thank you so much again for